Hey guys, my name is Tommy Po, and today I'm going to be showing you how I edited this photo changing yellow flowers into white flowers. Let's get started. So this is the photo I shot back in October with Rosie Lee and the, the vision that we had was to kind of match the colour of the flowers with the colour of the dress and so the way we're going to do that is first decrease some of the temperature because it's a little bit warm Maybe to around 4500 maybe like 46 and bring back some of the tints so around here and then the main effect is um, to change the yellow flowers into white flowers we want to sat desaturate all the yellows all the yellows the whole way and so what that's going to do is it's going to make the yellows into greys, right? And then we're going to bring back the luminance up. And so that's going to create like this white or like near white effect. And so that's already like a big difference. If you look at before and after, that's already like a massive change. And so there's only a few more things we need to do. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to bring back some lightness in the skin tones. And so that's a little... That's a little bit of luminance in the orange and also in the greens I thought it was a little bit tiny bit too dark so bring that up a little bit as well and since it's like a really high contrast photo at this point I want it to look really soft and kind of dreamy and so we're gonna bring back the shadows Increasing that by 50 and also let's see exposure by 0.1 and we're going to decrease the clarity by 10. So if you look at before and after now, it's quite good. It's quite good. Um, there's still a few things that we should change. So now you can see like the the yellows aren't fully white yet. And so what we'll do is in the blue tone curve section, in the blue channel, we're going to make this a little bit cooler down here. So that's going to make a big difference. And since it looks really pink still, we're going to go into the green channel and we lift those up. Probably not that much. <laughs> Probably too much in this tone. Maybe like around five. Good. So I think this blue in the sky here is a little bit too purple for me. So we're gonna bring it back down to the aqua section a little bit. Cool. And I think desaturate the greens slightly because it's still popping out too much. Um, I don't think we need to adjust any sphere turning for this photo, but we will sharpen it a little bit and also add a little bit of masking to that sharpening. Um, to get that fully like white and dreamy effect, what I did was I enabled profile corrections, which is going to adjust anything in the lens, and then adding um, lights vignetting to it. So it's looking pretty good so far. Let's check out the before and after. Good. Good. So it's getting somewhere. I think it's almost done. Last few changes are just in camera calibration. And that's only if you wanted to, I guess, change the balance of the colors. And so what I did was, what I usually do is I decrease the blues a little bit by 15 and so that's going to make this skin tone pop and the green reduced in saturation a tiny bit and I don't think I need to change the hue of the green but I do want to change a little bit of the saturation so just because I want a more balanced photo here and I think her skin is looking slightly too pink so we're going to bring that back up maybe like 15 in the reds so it's like more of an orange and then I think what we're going to do is desaturate this one 
and I'm doing that because in this blue primary, it kind of takes care of like oranges and yellows as well. So if I bump this all the way up, it's gonna complete the photo. I think I think that's about it. Um, I don't think I changed too much in the in the RGB tone curves. I think um, if anything, it'd be a little bit of like an S curve. Probably not too much at all. But that's about it. Maybe just a little bit more saturation. Yeah. So that's the completed photo. Um, there you have it. So let's check out the before and after one more time. And yeah, that's how you change yellow flowers into white flowers. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, you can check out more of my work on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.